Hi, it is free chatting time. So today I like to respond to a questions, a question which are uh, often I receive over years. The question rise again and again and again. So today I like to uh, uh, nail it technically, okay? Not as a guru or Wing Chun or whatever, no, as technical. Uh, of the traditional Chinese martial art, Let, let's nail this thing, okay? Uh, in an objective, evident, uh, evidently facts way, okay? Now, the question is this: the question is, what is the advantage or disadvantage of the Wing Chun way of vertical punch compared with the Western? boxing way of punch okay that's the question now if one really want to solve those questions okay want to know the real uh, uh, answer for this question without getting into the point of view your point of view my point of view all kinds of debate one need to know every martial arts in the surface of this world have its first priority and the second priority of the characteristic of the art. So what do I mean by that? Let's take an example. Western boxing is in the distance, okay, and really agile, dynamically go around and striking. Say take BJJ is going to go take down and going to the, the ground. Okay, so if you look at this two art, the first priority of the art, which is handling the momentum, the Western boxer is in this range dynamically move around really agile dynamically. The BJJ player will go in. Okay, for takedown, for groundwork. So that is the first priority of the art, which is dealing with the impulse momentum. And then there's only the second priority of the art is once you get, say, you get close, what are you going to do? Or if you are in this range, you know, what type of uh, Western boxing, what type of, uh, of a punch is a jab or... or other thing which you are going to use. There's a second priority. But you need to satisfy the first priority. For example, if you are a BJJ guy, you're going to go close. You're not going to stay here. Try to box like a Western boxing. Okay? So the first priority is your impulse momentum handling. The, the, the uniqueness of the art. The second priority is the tools you use on top of the first priority. If we get that confused, then we have no idea what the art is about. It is just simple that way. Now, let's get back to the traditional Chinese martial arts. Traditional Chinese martial arts have a different type of art and uh, there's a long fist Long fist art, which is like the the, uh, the, the Western boxing type of uh, distance and those kind of things of art. And there's a short strike art, which is going close to this range, where you can watch my video to describe clearly on the short strike art. Now, the so-called Wing Chun, vertical fist or Wing Chun way of punch, that punch is the second priority of the art which is feeding into the first uh, or supporting the first priority meaning that this punch is using here close not not something far away okay something close now so the wing chun way of vertical punch exists in all soft strike art because that is the tools using in this range. And in fact, 
The mechanics of this tool using in this range is depend on the snap of the joints, not just this joint, a uh, wrist joint, all this joint, the entire body or entire seven bowls, and the torque of the body. Okay, so that is how the mechanics of the uh, uh, vertical fist in the ancient we call it piercing. Piercing, like you 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 pierce into something. Okay, piercing into something. Okay, you you, you pierce into something. Or touch tree, okay, that's that's called it, okay? Tong tree or touch tree, the same is piercing through, and it is this type of punch where the mechanics is the the joints, the joints, okay, the, 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 the snapping of the joints or the turning of the joint or in combinations. That is what it is. So one don't compare. The second priority of us saying that so what is the advantage of this uh, advantage of the Wing Chun vertical punch or the short strike uh, uh, vertical punch in compare with the long fist or the Western boxing punch? It is a two different thing. This is like a uh, you have a, a snow uh, uh, what ice pick to pick on thing. The you know, ice pick, those, those, those sharp ice pick, the piercing into the eyes to crack the eyes. And over here, this is like you're using a hammer. So, you, you know, how, how are you going to compare a hammer and the ice pick? And your momentum of using a hammer, a big hammer, versus the ice pick, it's different. Okay? So, so. And then with the vertical punch, the vertical punch, actually there are three strikes with the vertical punch where two of them are hidden. For example, I strike him here with a vertical punch. He come close. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna strike him with the with the, 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 the shoulder. Okay? Or he shift around. I'm going to strike him with the elbow right away. So this punch have this thing, this thing which is elbow or shoulder waiting for it. Just to execute because it's a chain. It's not pulling back chain punch this way. No, it is one, depend on the situations, depend on the situations. And the body move shift around. This us short strike. Right? Okay? So, we need to know what it is so that we uh, can have the solution present to us. We don't even have to think, we don't even have to debate or any kind of point of view. The ancients have already designed this. Okay? Once we know this, we solve it. So we don't need to argue, oh, Wing Chun punch is the inch punch is like that. Okay? You have to put a, a straight and a punch this way. You, you don't have to argue with that. Oh, this is my way of Wing Chun. Well, Wing Chun is a short strike. And the vertical punch or the piercing punch or the ice pick type of punch is a common denominator of the short strike. So who are we going to kill in to try to change that short strike? The, 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 the vertical punch or the short strike. Because it's across the board. That is how it is, the snapping of the joints and the torque. Okay? So I hope that this explains this thing once for all. This is uh, uh, solidly technical. If we don't do this kind of stuff in a, uh, a solid technical and uh, objective way, based on evidence and common denominators of all the short strikes, knowing the first priority of the art, the second priority of art, we are looking trouble to completely trash the short strike art we are practicing, be it Wing Chun or anything. If you call it short strike, you have this vertical punch, that's how it is. It has to be like that because the first priority of the short strike saying that you have to get close. And you can get close here, you pull, you, you crush in there, as uh, you can see on my other videos on short strike. Okay? So this is uh, to share with you, hopefully you clear 
I am not any guru or anything and it is the right of anybody to present the facts of the, uh, the history okay nobody can shut other people's mouth by bullying or anything to 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 uh, to, to to seal the truth to the public because if we do that number one we betray our ancestor we betray the chinese culture for our own benefit we don't want to do that if we care of Wing Chun, not our own self, not using Wing Chun for our own reputation and so forth, it has to get straight. Or else, you don't have Wing Chun in, 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 in a few years to come. Okay, so this is uh, to share with you.